No, don't do it! Ah! Alright class, welcome back to FPL School by your boy, a big and boy. And this is episode 7, how to use FPL chips, best chip strategies. FPL chips are the bright, shiny superpowers to help you achieve all of the big boy points. What are the chips? We have four chips currently in FPL. These include Triple Captain, Bench Boost, Free Hit and the Wild Card. What do they do? Triple Captain. The Triple Captain means your chosen captain for a game week will get triple points compared to the normal double of your normal captain. So let's say you own Mo Salah. He scores a goal and gets all the bonus, 10 points for hey. With a normal captain, you'd get 20 for that, but with a triple captain, you'd get 30. Ooh, great success. To activate this chip, you select your captain as normal, and then you slap that triple captain button when you're ready. This can also be cancelled, so if you triple captain John Joe Shelby and then realise you don't want to do that anymore, that is okay, you can cancel it. Bench boost. The bench boost means all of your players on your bench will actually score you points, compared to normally where everyone left on your bench at the end of the game week won't score you any points. So let's say you bench this team scoring all of these points. Usually those points will just get burnt and chucked in the bin, you don't get them. But now, you do get them, way! To activate this chip, you leave your team as it is, because it doesn't matter who you bench, and then you just slap that bench boost button when you're ready. This also can be cancelled, so if you realise your bench might only get a whopping two points, yeah, you can change your mind. Free hit. The free hit allows you to have a brand new team just for one week. Unlimited changes and all of that. But then you revert to your previous team the next week. You only get this brand new team for one week. So let's say you have a team that all have very hard games in one week, right? But you actually want to keep the players for later on because the games get better. You can make unlimited changes and make a brand new team that you keep for one week and then go back to your old amazing team with all the best players the week after. To activate this, you make any changes you want to your team and then you can activate that free hit button by just slapping it. Just give it a little slap. Ooh. You can't activate it before game week one as you don't have a team to go back to, but you can do this at any point in the season. You also cannot cancel this. So once you have activated it, um, I like a wild card. Then the wild card, the most important chip in the game. This allows you to make unlimited changes and create a brand new team, but more importantly, actually keep that team moving forward. Ooh. So let's say you targeted a bunch of teams with great fixtures at the start, but then their next few fixtures are not very good at all. Oh no, no. You can actually whap that wild card out and get a brand new team replacing all of your players if you really want to and then you will be good to go. To activate the wild card, it's very similar to the free hit. Make some changes, do whatever you want to it, and then just hit that wild card button when you do any transfers. And you also can continue to make as many changes as you want, just like the free hit. But again, warning, you can -y cancel it. Once it's activated, it's done. You're using it. Chip summary. So to summarize the definition of the chips, we have the triple captain, which triples your captain's points. We have the bench boost, meaning you gain all of your bench players' points. Free hit allows you to have a brand new team just for one week and then go back to your previous team. And then the wild card allows you to have a brand new team, but keep that team moving forward. You get to use all of these chips only once per season, apart from the wild card where you get two, one at the start of the season and one in the second half of the season. You also can't use multiple chips in the same game week, so uh, no bench boosting, triple captain, wild card, all that. No, no, no. Only one at a time. And again, another reminder, you can cancel the triple captain and bench boost, but you can't cancel the wild card and the free hit. And that is all the chips done, summarized, analyzed, and ingrained into your brain. So you know exactly what they do, how to use them, and that is great stuff. But it's not the end year. As next, we're going to go through some different strategies on when the best time could be to use them, as well as how to set your team up to get the most out of them as well. How to get the most out of your chips. Triple Captain Strategies. So with the Triple Captain, it allows you one and only one chance to get one big boy score from just one player. One strategy might be to use it on the best fixture in the first game week just to potentially give yourself a bit of a boost ahead of everyone straight away. But but I actually wouldn't suggest doing that myself, as there probably will be better times to use it. But unless you want to chuck your FPL team in the bin after two weeks, then yeah, why not? <laughs> Another strategy might be when a player is performing very, very well. They are top of the FPL points, and they are currently bursting the worst defence next. Ooh. Now, they could go and get a hat-trick. Yeah, you might want to triple captain them. But you kind of only give them one chance and there's something a little bit better than that. With the best strategy to slap that triple captain button 
is when? Oh, there's a double game week where, hey, if you don't know about double game weeks, we did go over them in the last class of FBL school. But the reason double game weeks are the best time to use this is more minutes equals more potential, right? It's that simple. If you give a player two games to do something over one game, you're doubling your chances, hopefully getting double points, which are also being tripled. Now that is very saucy. Now sometimes there's not always an amazing, amazing double game week to look at, you know? But you should always try and aim for that and maybe hold off. And if it's not, then yeah, go for something else. Bench boost strategies. The bench gives you one and only one chance to actually gain the points you have left on your bench. As usually, your bench points are gone forever. Now the bench boost is quite hard to aim and prepare for sometimes. And also can be even harder to get out of as well if you're not careful. This being because if you want players good enough for your bench that you actually want their points right, you're only going to bench boost if you've got players on your bench to score points. It might actually take a few weeks to get those players in. But you might want to get them all out straight away as well, as you might end up with so many good players in your team, you'll cause yourself a massive bench netic and you could actually lose out on more points than you've gained from the bench boost itself. So strategies with this include just keeping and buying the cheaper players for your bench to bench boost, so you don't ruin your team structure and that, but also you don't mind benching the cheaper players for the next few weeks if you have to as well. If you want to keep some of them, it's all good. Another strategy includes spreading out your money as much as possible to fill out the best balanced team you can get, which some people might actually go for in a game week one bench boost. Ah, we'll go, we'll see that next, yeah. We might be making another video on that, watch out for that. And finally, using wildcard just before or after ready to bench boost as well. This is so you can maybe set up the perfect team to bench boost, but then also not have to worry about the cleanup on aisle four you might have as your team won't be in an absolute mess if you can just wildcard straight after. But the most optimal time to use this is again within a double game week, where imagine you had a full 15 man squad all with two fixtures each. Now that could actually be all of the points. Free hit strategies. As discussed in the last episode of FPL School, blank and double game weeks could be the best time to use some chips. The free hit allows you to have a brand new team just for one week, but then you revert back to your normal team after that. So different strategies for this include free hitting in a blank game week, to get in a full team of playing players, meanwhile your team before might not have been playing, you know a lot of them would have been missing a fixture, but then now you can get a full team that is playing. Another strategy includes targeting a double game week, where again the same, you might not want to get rid of some players or you don't want to keep some players in, but you do want to target some great fixtures and you don't want to miss out on some players. And finally, some people also just use it as a backup. If you've tripled up on four teams and they're all playing against each other one week, then yeah, you're in a bit of a mess there, aren't you? You have five players out with a small injury, but don't want to get rid of them because they might all come back soon. Or your team is just that bad and you want to target better fixtures. Why not just slap the free hit button on there and you're all sorted. There is no right or wrong way or when to use this, as you might use it before and after some other chips as well. But as always with most of the chips, it all depends on your team. Wildcard strategies. And finally, different wildcard strategies. The wildcard is by far the most important chip, as if you get all the right players in, it can affect your entire FBL season, not just net you a small gain in one week. Strategies for wildcard vary quite a lot and could be used within doubles and blanks, but at the end of the day, it completely depends on your team and the players you have, as it's not just for one week, you keep it forever. So the best wildcard strategy is just use it when you need a new team. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> this might be after two game weeks when none of your players are doing anything and you want to jump in all the best boys. It might actually be in the last few weeks of the season and you just want to target those fixtures. But again, it all depends on the players you have and then the players you want in as well. The wild card will be popular in a few different weeks, especially in big fixture swing weeks and in international breaks. And that might also be the best thing for your team. But again, it depends on your players. Yeah, have I mentioned that yet? It, it all just depends on your team. <laughs> but remember, you do have two wild cards. So one, don't feel too pressured into using yours if you don't want to, but also don't be afraid to use it if your team is actually in the mud and doing that well. And that was it on different strategies and approaches for all of the chips. During the season, certain things might happen where most people might use their chips to target said things, and there might come up a better and more clear chance to use them as well. But it's important to remember that because you only have one of each and only two wild cards, you might have wanted to know the best time and strategy to use them all and when most other people do, so at least you have a base idea before the season starts and then you're not worried about them later on. Chip tips. And to finish it off, I'm going to give some general chip tips. Sounds a bit dodgy. <laughs> but also might help you use them better, but also when to choose to use them as well. Your team, your chips. You are managing your team and they are your chips. 
If you really want to triple captain or bench boost game week one, then why not? Who can tell you not to? Like, yeah, they might not net you the most points, but maybe that's the strategy you like going for. Maybe you don't want to plan for them later on. Maybe you just want to go all out straight away. Then that is fine. You do you. Don't be a sheep. There will be a massive herd of people wildcarding in specific weeks, free it in bench boost and all of that, but it might not actually be the best for your team. So don't copy others. That's not to say don't be influenced because it could be better, but make sure it is better for your team if you're going to do that. As again, your team is your team. You have different players and what works for someone else might not work for your team. Be patient. Using all of your chips right at the start of the season might be what you want to do and it could work, but there probably will be better times to use them throughout the season. And when these magical opportunities do come up, you might want to be in a position where you can use them and you don't want to be like, oh no, I've already used them all. Oh no, what am I going to do? So sometimes it is best to save them just in case there is a most optimal time and could net you all the points just to make sure you can get the most out of them. Plan ahead. With chips like the bench boost, you might have to prepare for weeks in advance to get your team ready to get a good bench boost. So that would require some planning, huh? You also don't want to be one hour away from a deadline Realising you might have to free hit this week if you actually want a team that plays. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> so always make sure you plan ahead and at least have some idea within you on when you're going to use the chips as you don't want to be making any last minute decisions you might regret. Have fun. And finally, have fun. Chips in FPL are the one spicy thing to spice it all up, right? It gives it all the seasoning and it makes it amazing. So you do want to make sure you have fun with them as they could potentially give you the most points you've ever had in a game week as well. Oh, amazing. Last year, I actually used my triple captain on Bamford and it was actually one of the most I ever celebrated for a goal in my life because not many other people triple captained him as well and I was absolutely loving it. And that is it for the FBL Chips Guide. How to use them and also how to get the most out of them. Aye, aye. This has been episode 7 of the FBL School talking about chips, best strategy, how to use them and how to dominate FBL using them. Arr! Make sure to turn up to the next class or what's going to happen? Spanking you are having. Oh! <laughs> Don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now. <laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs> <laughs>